It's that time of year a lot of cattle has been moved from place to place, as you can see, a lot of them out on those corn stalks. And there has been a change over the years when it comes to handling cattle. Here's more. And there's a different method out there, and some cattle producers are trying it out. And Joan Ruskamp's joining us. She's from Common Ground. Joan, hello. And this is something um, I haven't heard about it. Some people have already. It's, it's Temple Grandin, is that right? Can you explain uh, what sure. exactly how this process works? Sure. It's called low-stress cattle handling. It's probably been developed extensively over the last 15, 20 years, and it has a lot to do with how we act around our cattle. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with the horse whisper. Well, um, low stress cattle handling has a lot to do with thinking about how cattle think. And so what we want are quiet, content cattle. And so when we move them from a pen to a different place or to load or to just to check them in the morning, there's things that we want to do that make them feel like we're not a predator, that um, we're just part of the herd. Um, to an extent. And so Temple Grandin developed systems um, in how we process cattle, like when we bring them in to give them their shots um, for vaccinations and things. And she also has autism. My name is Temple Grandin. I'm not like other people. She's an amazing visual thinker. Um, there's a great movie, if you really want to understand all of this, called Temple Grandin. It talks about autism and it talks about how she could feel really um, feel and sense what cattle did and developed um, the, the squeeze shoot that, that gives them kind of like this little hug. Mooing. You want to do research and write your masters on mooing. I can see a shoot just as a cattle will because that's something my autism lets me do. And um, the curved alleyways, um, the curved loadout, and those kind of systems. So really, her what seemed to be a detriment became a huge, tremendous asset for the for the cattle business. And that that kind of push shoot or it, it, it kind of pushes them through that that system. Is that even made here in Nebraska? This is kind of a cool thing, isn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, it's wonderful. Well, I'm from Dodge, Nebraska, and we have a company right here in Dodge, Dodge Manufacturing, and they make these systems. And I'm pretty sure there's others, but I'm real familiar with this one because that's who developed ours. Mm -hmm. And they use her systems. Temple's actually um, approved their drawings, and they go all over the country. Many, many states they've gone to to set up the system. So, what right. is the benefit, obviously, with you handling the cattle to make it a low stress situation, but also when it ends up on our plate, it makes a difference too, doesn't it? Well, I think in the fact that when uh, most people today are concerned about animal welfare and how we are handling our animals, and so um, for one, it is, yeah, um, you know that that animal's been um, given, you know, the respect that we can give them and how mm -hmm. we handle them and the quietness. Um, sometimes when you're yelling and hollering, it also raises um, a fear in them, and it can it can toughen the meat. Um, mm -hmm. There are studies that have shown that, so. It should be a better quality uh, meat product as well, especially the packing plant as well. Uh, I believe that is where she started developing her her lo her handling systems and um, to keep the cow quieter and walking in um, in a calmer fashion. I could see that definitely at the the packing plant too. Some some neat stuff, and you have a blog about this as well. So if anyone wants to look at that, they can go there too, and we'll have a link. Thank you so much, Joan. You're welcome. Thank you. And if you do have questions, again, we'll have more information on our website, nebraska.tv. Click on NTV's Grow. That's all we have for you here on the show. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Stay warm.